Hi friends, welcome back. Today I am doing a slightly different video than I usually do. I am going to be walking you through my brand new planner. It is a golden coil. And if you don't know about golden coil, there are so many great YouTubers out there who review the golden coils and I'll link my favorite down below, which is Amanda's favorites. Um, she is just like the planner queen and has all the planners and it has really helped me figure out what planner might be best for me. So definitely check out her channel. I've done one other golden coil planner flip through type video before and I'll link mine up above um, when I walk you through my last golden coil plan golden coil planner. I've had three. So this is my newest one which we'll walk through today. This is the one I flipped through my last video so you can watch that flip through on my channel. And then my very first golden coil was this navy golden coil. Um, I've gotten the linen covers every time and on these two they have the same size coil on them because they're a little bit thicker books. Um, I do get daily pages and in my first golden coil I got daily pages plus a lot of extra pages and in this one I got daily pages with only a few extra pages and then in my newest one which you'll see has a smaller coil um, my newest one has daily pages with very few extra pages um, because I wanted to try out the smaller coil size and see what I think about it and um, so I'll be just kind of giving you my reaction to those today, but these planners are super high quality. I would flip through these two, but they have um, work information in them, so I can't, which is why I haven't really shared my planners with y'all because my work information, um, I just don't want that out on the internet. So this one definitely feels so much lighter and so much thinner and we'll talk through why, but I am interested to see how I like the smaller coil. So this one is in their light blue linen cover and all of the golden coils have golden coil on them in just like a gold foil and I really really do like it. And this one is on the second to largest coil size. They have all their coil sizes on their website. And on the inside you get to customize your nameplate and I kept mine super minimal this time. I just put like they automatically do the year based on the months you have in it. I just put my first name and then it's May through August. So my first golden coil ran let me double check this one ran august through december this one ran january through april and this one is going to run may through august so then my next planner if i do keep up these this um like trimester situation will be september through december and i do like daily planning and golden coils they don't come in daily planners you can only do a max of six months. And with the six month daily pages, you don't get a lot of room for extra pages and they have so many extra pages. So I wanted to go with the trimester because I could utilize more extra pages, but then I didn't use the extra pages. So yeah, so this one's really, really minimal. It's mostly just daily pages. And I only wanted to do three months because I'm thinking about switching planners, not because I don't like Golden Coil. They're like literally my favorite planner I've ever had but I'm thinking I need a monthly, weekly, and daily view. And there are very few planners that offer that. In Golden Coil, you can't choose weekly and daily. You can only choose one or the other. So I'm trying to figure out what planner might work best for me because I'd really like a two week monthly spread, a one page weekly layout, like overview before each daily page then starts for the week. So I'd like to be able to plan different things in different sections. So I found one that I think might work that I might order and start playing around with, but we'll see. So just to walk you through this and then I'm gonna set up my planner. You'll be able to watch all of that if you want, but if you're only here for the flip through, then that'll be the first part. But every golden coil comes with the nameplate, which you can make more fun than this one. I just left it pretty basic this time. And then you have your two page monthly spread. And you have a small space for notes over here and it's a Monday start, which I love. I love my weekends together. And the previous dates are kind of grayed out at the top and the future dates. And then your month are in the solid color. And if you choose the holidays package, it'll include the holidays for the month in the monthly spread. And then I added a to-do list after every month or for every month. I used to have two and I just didn't use them. So I'm hoping just the one will be helpful. And then it jumps straight into your dailies. So mine will start this upcoming Monday. Today is May 1st. So on May 3rd, I'll be able to start in this planner. And each daily page goes from 
5 a.m. until 10 p.m., which I love. Most daily planners are like 7 to 9 and things, and it just doesn't work for me because I go to the gym at 6 o'clock in the morning, which means I'm waking up in the 5 o'clock hour. So I need a planner that starts at 5. And sometimes I am I have things late at night, so I work late a lot of nights, and I do like a nighttime volleyball league. So some of those things go until 10, and so I like having an hourly that goes until 10 p.m. I really like having an hourly because I like to plot out my day and time block. I like to do that on Sundays, getting prepared for my week, writing in meetings I have at work, writing in when I want to get things done, and so that really works for me. I've, I don't really need the full like how wide it is. So that's the only thing I'd probably adjust. I'd probably make this shorter and have more space for to-do lists because some of my to-do items are pretty long. So I'd probably like scrunch this in and make these lines longer. Um, and then there's a notes page down here, a little notes block where I'm going to be tracking some of my fitness things this month because I'm going to be starting something called carb cycling for the month of May into June. And then I really want to track my water intake. Um, I'm getting a new water bottle and I want to be really intentional about trying to get the proper amount of ounces every day. So I'll be doing some of that down here in my daily planner. And then I have a space for priorities and to do's. And typically what I'll do is I will use priorities as like start here and then for to do's I'll start my work to do's up top and I'll start my personal to do's down bottom and I'll just like come into the center so I have work stuff up here and personal things down here and that works pretty well for me but I just love these pages they're so minimal the paper is just unreal um it's mohawk paper so it has like tooth and texture to it which I really really like and it's like a cream off-white color which I find like nicer on my eyes and I think it goes really well with the gold matte coil. So I love it. I know some people don't love the cream colored paper because you can't white out and things like that. But I have the erasable pens that I use, the friction pens. Um, the only downside is the eraser erases the lines in the golden coil because of the way they print them. Because they are custom. Every single book is custom. But um, besides that, like those are my only like qualms with the planner. I absolutely adore it. And at the end of every week, you get a notes page, which is super helpful because if I have meetings, I typically will start here by taking notes. And then if I run out, I'll use note pages in the back of the planner, which I added because again, it's customizable. So I'll show you that in a minute. But this is just what my planner looks like. And you go through the weeks. All of the weeks are the same. You can insert certain pages between weeks. I just chose not to. So you could have put a to-do list after every week. You could put other different pages between every week. I just chose not to this time because I didn't use them last time. So I might be rethinking that in the future, but for now I'm happy with just having a simple layout. So then at the end of the month, you have your line note page. And then for my planner, it just jumps into the next month. So now we're into June. So when you get to the last full week of a month, it jumps into the next month's calendar, which I really like because it doesn't split up the June, July. Um, like it doesn't insert this in between the days. So then I just get to start my whole new month and start on Monday again. And that's, it just goes through uninterrupted. So then we have July. And then we go into August, which is the last official month that I have in this planner. We go through all of those monthly pages. And then because the month of August ends um, the next week, I chose to stop the planner on this Sunday. And I'll start my next Sunday, August 30th. And it will start at August 30th. So then you get to also choose with Golden Coil the pages at the back of your planner. So I chose to have some blank months. So this will be September, this will be October, this will be November, and this will be December. So this will help me do some pre-planning and just get ready for my next planner whenever I transition into it. But like if I get um, dates or trips or appointments, I can just like visualize them here. And then I chose to put some dot grid at the very, very back. And I just did a bunch of pages of dot grid because I find them that they're very flexible. I can do notes because I can't write straight. So it's nice to have some lines. Um, I can doodle. I can 
um, stick things to this and like not feel like I'm covering anything up. So I just got a bunch of dot grids. I got the maximum amount you could before you have to upgrade your coil, I'm pretty sure. And then at the very back, you get a pocket. Um, and I've never in my life used this pocket, but it exists. So, <laughs> and that's it. It's a really boring custom planner um, because honestly, I was really busy at work and a little uninspired. So I went with the minimal route and we'll find out if I like it or not when I start trying it out. But um, I love the planners themselves, so I'm sure I will enjoy it. So some other things I have with Golden Coil are I have two bookmarks and I use them in two different ways. The first one I put on the monthly page. So I just push it in here and you do have to purchase the bookmarks separately. They don't come with the planner. So I'll put my first one on the monthly to show you like where the, to show you where the month is just right here and it, you can flip right to it. But then I'll also put one on the daily and what I'll do is I'll put it instead of putting it on the second loop like this I'll put it on the first loop so it sticks up a little bit higher because they don't sell a plant they don't sell a bookmark that like is wider so that they don't overlap so this has worked for me because now I can flip here for my month and I can flip here for my day and both are easy to access so if you wanted to access like your to-do list faster you could do it that way as well but what I use for that are my golden coil um, book darts they have these oops see I've had this bag for a while I've just never gotten rid of it but now it's failing me but they have these little book darts that are really sleek and minimal and so what I'll do is I'll put my book dart up top for my to-do list for the month so then at the top of my planner, I have my monthly, my daily, and then it's, it's near the front of the planner, so you can't really see it. Then my to-do is right here, so I can get to it pretty simple, pretty easy. And then what I'll do, if I want to flip to future months, and this is all part of my planner setup when I first get a planner, so say I want to flip to June, what I do is I take another book dart and I put it here. So on the side, I can flip to future months. So June is there and then I'll do one at July, just a little lower down. So that will be July. And then August is further down from there. And then I'll do my future calendars as well, just for pre-planning purposes. So then now I have a really easy way to just flip to the different months. And um, typically if I'm in May, I would just need to flip to June to look at the monthly view. I wouldn't need to put something on a specific daily page. So the side versus the top really works for me for that purpose. So then when May's over, I'll move the top dart to the to-do list for June, and then I'll move another dart to the side for May so that we can see flip back to May pretty easily. So I just really love their bookmarks and their um, book darts because they're super, super minimal. And that is just absolutely my planning style. I am definitely a functional planner. I'm not a decorative planner. So this, I think that's why I like Golden Coil so much. Like I don't use stickers. I don't use a lot of color. I use like literally these two pens. Let me show you. I use black and blue. Um, I used to put work in black and personal in blue. And then I stopped doing that for a while because work got busy. So I just did everything in black, but I want to try to switch back to that method. So yeah, you'll see. I'm just a very, very basic, basic planner. So now I'll just walk you through how I plan out my month. If you're um, only interested in the flip through, we're done with that portion. But if you want to see just kind of how I plan out my month, then feel free to stick around. Um, I usually do this before I put the bookmark in, so I'm just going to take it back out. So I like to put the big 
big things in my planner that are coming up. And on my monthly view, I like to just use black for some reason. I don't know why. On the 7th, I am going to my grandmother's funeral. She um, passed away during COVID, not from COVID, but during COVID. And we just haven't had a chance to have the funeral. So we are going to be doing that on Mother's Day weekend. And I fly back on Monday, actually. And that day is Mother's Day. So I need to remember to have my gift and card ready before then. On the 5th, I do have an eye exam, and that is at 11 a.m. I have counseling on the 10th in the evening, so I'll just put that in here. And then I have a work retreat this day, the 11th through the 12th. On the 14th, I have a friend's going away party, so I'll put that in here. They are moving to New York City, so we're gonna gather and do something fun. The rest of the month, I really don't have a lot until the 29th, I'm going, um, my family is renting a beach house, so we're doing a beach vacation. So we are going the 29th through, I think I'm coming back on the 6th, and my parents are staying a little bit longer to celebrate their anniversary. And then the 31st is their wedding anniversary. And I think that's most of the big things for the month. This is typically all I put on my monthly spread are just the big things or appointments. And that's just kind of how I laid that out. Then on the um, daily spreads is where I do more specific items. So I can give you an example for next week. So. And this is where I color code um, or like to when I can, and I have to write at a slant, so I'm sorry about that. But on Monday at 6 a.m., I have a kettlebell class. So that's something I have on my calendar. And then I'm also going to a spin class that night. And I'm going to start uh, carb cycling this day, so I'm just going to put a reminder up here. And during this um, time of carb cycling, I'll probably put down here kind of like what day it is. And so for Monday, Mondays are going to be a high carb day. And so I would do things like this. If I have any big meetings for work, I'll also go in and throw these in, but I just won't today because I don't want that on the internet. But Monday, these are some personal things I have going on. On Tuesday, I'm taking some comp time because I am getting over a really busy time at work. So we'll see what that ends up looking like. But I know I have a volleyball game at 6.30 at night. And that usually lasts about an hour. And I usually have to start driving to volleyball about 45 minutes beforehand. So I'll put drive to volleyball up here to know that I have to leave around 5.45 just to get there in time and to warm up. So that's it for personal things that Tuesday. That Wednesday, I have a hit class at 6 a.m. So I'll go to that. Oh, I forgot about carb cycling. I already forgot. This is also a high carb day. And Wednesday, I have a hit, but I also have an eye exam appointment. And then Thursday, I leave for my, oh, I also forgot. Wednesday is a low carb day. And then Thursday, I leave for my grandmother's funeral, and my flight is at 3.50, so I'll just put flight, and I land at 9 o'clock my time, 8 o'clock their time. So if my flight is at 3.50, I probably need to be there about an hour beforehand, so I'll put airport up here, and then drive to airport up here. That's all settled. And then... Thursday is a high carb day. Friday, I don't really know our plans, so I'm really not sure what that will look like, but this is also a high carb day. If you don't know much about carb cycling, I can link an article down below, um, but it's something my personal trainer recommended, so we're gonna go with that. And then Saturday also, I know that's the day of the funeral, um, so I'll put that in here. And I am making the slideshow for that, so, um, since I leave on Thursday, what I'll do is on Wednesday, I'll put finalize slideshow 
I'll probably put it somewhere so that we can have access to it at the week. So yeah, not a lot to put on Saturday. So it's not a really, it's not really a typical week for me. And then Sunday's Mother's Day. So we're doing um, brunch with the cousins that day. So that'll be good. But again, not a whole lot to report on Sunday. And that would be the end of the week. But because I come back on Monday, I'm going to go ahead and throw my flight information in there. So I leave around, um, let's see, that's 1 p.m. my time here. So that would be flight. And I land around 3.30. Actually, I think that was 11 noon my time. I think my Google Calendar changed that. Yeah, it's better. And then I have counseling that night at 5.30. And then I have a work meeting that night at 6.30, so planning meeting, and that goes until 8. So that'll be kind of a busy day. So that is a little bit of how I would start my week. Um, I would start by going through and just putting big things, and then throughout my day, I would go through and add specific to-dos. If I have, any, have anything big coming up, I would put it here. I'll probably put some information about carb cycling on this page because it is new to me and I don't, I know it's gonna take a lot of pre-planning. So I'll let you know how that goes, but um, that's just kind of how I lay out the week and then I go in and fill in details. My planners are usually very full at the end of every day. Um, so it looks pretty bare right now, but I promise you it doesn't stay that way. Um, but hopefully if I ever get into a job where I can share a little bit more, I will, but for now, this is what I can share and I can potentially even do some time blocking, um, where I can be pretty vague if that would be of interest to y'all. But eventually I'm hoping my new planner will have sections that are just about my small business and I can share all of that with y'all. So that's kind of why I'm looking for a really specific type of planner because I want to have a space for work and like um, hourly breakdowns, but I also want to have the space for like more big picture planning for this channel and for my Etsy store. So if I ever figure that out, I will bring y'all in the loop on that. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this flip through of my golden coil and just a little bit about how I plan in it, but I really recommend it. I'm not affiliated with them and, um, or anything, but I will leave them down below because I just think they make really high quality products. So definitely check it out and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.